You selfish prick! What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey. You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will. Hey, Frank. 
Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. you 2.7 millimeters hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real so get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom Ooh, the fool wants to race us we were just getting out of here anyway <laughs> all right <laughs> Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. Traffic might slow them down. And we got 
gotta stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. How far are they taking us? I could swear we've circled half the state. Sights at the back. I think they want him to stop and take a booking. Good things come to those who wait. We're going first. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely uh, necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Well, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. Hey, Frank. What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was supposed to rise and race. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired for my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> what is this bullshit? The car got away from me! Hey, look! Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. He don't sound that different, to be honest. Hey, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house, I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What do you mean? 
Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy in you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Hey, your car is still all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Yeah, I hope so, cause I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seats were here when I got in. Oh, come on, team man, please. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, it's gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now oh i'm so scared i really really am but you know what i'm a payment on completion of work type of guy you don't like the job take a fucking walk hey come on man hold on so what's next man well it's the z type chad mulligan lay it on him kid mulligan's a record producer he's going through a messy divorce he's hiding his valuable assets including the car so that makes it complicated he'll clock any ground surveillance we run all we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in howick so we just go house to house not quite we have access to an lspd helicopter the computer on board can id pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license find mulligan and howick Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.
no. Forgive me! Too close! Out the car, oh, Nick. Good the Lord! Oh, oh. Damn it!
of Jackson Skinner. He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. Want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Just get the fuck out of here, Nutless. How am I supposed to do any business with you creeping me? Girl's a fucking... F That must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, I always come. Aw, you such a smooth talker.
Hey man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon.
So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. <laughs> what happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. Oh, man, there's an up and atom burger box under my seat filled with vomit. Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Hello. Jesus, have you been drinking? Yep. Get in, we're running late. Did anyone see fame or shame last night? I can't watch that Laszlo anymore. He's like a man in a woman's body or a woman in a man's body. I don't know, he just really weirds me out.
Well, you're late, late, late. That'd be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Fair hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Attention passengers! Please hold on to your fucking seats! Stop the bus, you maniac! Hey, I thought... Just business shit, you know how it is. Light. Good to go. No wise ass punk, now give me that. Damn, did you know it? Oh, well, fuck it. Huh? Damn it. Close! in the department, 
but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 you're nice to cut a minority quota. I should take... Oh, please! We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that.
fucking ass, Moet! Suspect continues west on Del Perro. Suspect sighted near the Life Invader offices. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right.
I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? I'll tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! Hey, yo, what's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase with the cops! Like, like, right now, bro! Apparently she's wasted! Get after them! See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted! I 
guess that's her. get myself into this.
That photo. What can I say? A great journalism. Our little sex tape said sloppy poppy on a full moon meltdown. How does it feel to be on the front lines, dude? Shit, it ain't exactly Iraq, man. And you know what? I might feel a little less degraded if I was fucking getting paid. Ah, uh, all in good time. The truth comes first. I'll be in touch. Where's it say no tug jobs under the table? me! What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia! Get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some 
files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's the pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right, you grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything, get me on the headset. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? Fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. There it is. Out past downtown. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Ha! Not good enough. That'll go down next time. Hey, you see it? The plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? Help me! 
Okie dokie. Lane ain't following the road. I gotta go cross country. There's a small jump coming out. Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk.
this shit! What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, oh Trevor? God. Nothing you wouldn't do. Holy Trevor. shit! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happen, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, 
I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things mm. with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called Shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. All right, man, you cool. Hey, come on, move, oh. fucko! Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me.
got pineapple in it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Gina. I try... <laughs> ah! They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post! I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. What Security! The hell are you doing? Security! You oh, you oh, hit oh, Estimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Damn, what's this button do? If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Cause I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something.
<laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh, life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit. But you're the brains, am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Stay calm, lady. Chill. Crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, talking of fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racing competition? And as luck would have it, they got this really beautiful silver medal with your name on it. I say go fuck yourself. Bronze medal then? <laughs> Funny motherfucker. This shit.
Good night. Hey, my whip. Man, you kidding? No fucking sense. See what we got. Watch and learn, baby. Okay, let's go! Get back here!
Let's go! the new kid. Man, you can't be.
Get all the steer for him. What well, fuck this? Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? <sighs> I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic. Let's go. Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! 
What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We got to meet him in the air. I, uh, well, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible. Yeah, oh. Accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. There's Oscar's business. That's bringing cash in. Just the plain I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV.
sure about this tea? Most certainly. These bricks, Merriweather, they're what? Using these guns for a coup in West Africa? Protecting some mineral-rich warlord? Confiscating the weapons is practically a public service. Karmically, I'm... We're golden! What's not to be sure about? When you put it like that... Handle your end, okay?
There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Merryweather jet. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Changing frequency, over. Ron, Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the fires? We're here, T. Awaiting your arrival. Are you reading? 
Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage. The cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Shut up, you fat fuck. Crap. Если присмотреться, вина есть во всем. Smell any funny spices? Я ничего не вижу, бот. Эй, придави документы. What? Паспорт давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. А, да ты по-английски не шаришь? Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы, как один. И по гражданским арестам, ты понял? Америка — страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? <laughs> Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи, едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster, and that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! My Patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Come on, come on, you drive. You drive, let's go. Drive, get in the back. What's your name, citizen? I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. Well, I'm definitely getting a strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and drive down our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though. We'll convert you. 
My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. But now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Hey, if you do well in your civil board at patrol trial, we will, of course, pay you for your time. Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Is there any place in the world I'd rather be? Stay away from me, okay? Hey! You're banned. Is anyone not banned? Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. Hey, Trevor, get out here now! They're in that car, let's go! We do not have time ah, to stop! Enough. Go, go! Now let's bring him in, boys. Here, take the stun gun. Really? Nobody needs to die here. We're civilized people. I don't know. They come here taking our jobs. All those mariachi singer jobs have been stolen. They don't just take one. No. Some of them are doing two or three. Thankless. Hasta luego. Low pay jobs to support their families. It's an outrage! Hold on your pointed hats! We're taking the... We're taking the scenic route! They're a law unto themselves! Sounds like they're having a lot more fun in their car. Well, look at them, drunk out of their minds, on Uncle Sam's dime. The население of the country is the of the country. Это не по-американски. Keep those stun guns at the ready, my friend. They're probably gang members. I heard that some of these undesirables are tra trafficking illegal guns into our very, very peaceful country. Mm. Now who do a thing like that? Now, now's our chance. Go subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Well, it's your constitutional right. But can you point it somewhere else? What the heck? Oh, very nice, Trevor. Respectful, but firm. We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. Please, no more! No, no, no. I go with you! You don't like music? Тебе смелости не хватит. Последний раз взгляни на свободный мир. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's move it along, senor. I don't want to rain on your parade, but we'll never get him into the vehicle if we don't let him stand up. What is wrong with you? Ты пренебрёг щедростью этой прекрасной нации. Well, I admire the enthusiasm, but I think he's got the message now. This isn't a game, citizen. Bring that vehicle over here to me right now. Hey, stop that vehicle! That's an order! No! You go for boss! America's a little bit safer because of you!
Che mama verga! Fucking fuck. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. Frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. Triceps, they just feel a little, Hello? uh, oh, You better have a damn good explanation for your actions. No, Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met anymore. at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word, but he's alive. You should call him. He'll appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Hey, hey, chill, man. Hey. Can you give me a ride, just so Boy Scout there can get his buzzkill badge? There's my car. So where to, man? I'm on Alta Place. Off, uh, Howick Ave. Howick Av? It's not that far. Oh, I don't feel so good. Ugh. I just got a mouthful of, of something. You better... What are you doing? You better take it slow. Hey, thanks for this, man. As you can see, I could have driven. No problem. What the fuck, dude? No problem. That joy killer back there had to lay a guilt trip on me. Do you believe they wanted me to walk? Walk? I don't even think this is Europe. Just because I sound drunk doesn't mean my brain's drunk. You know, it's offensive. You don't call a deaf kid stupid for talk. Oh, take it easy. Oh shit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna bark. Oh shit, man, that's nasty. I knew this was a mistake. <laughs> Dude, sorry about that. Uh, most of it went out the window. I'll, uh, I'll throw some cash your way. Jesus, I wish you can hear yourself. Well, I feel 
feel much better. That tactical vomit really sorted me out. Starving now. Oh, yes! I still got some cluck and bell at home from last night. I am all over that! Thanks for the ride, man. Sorry for blowing chunks. Take this plug to clean. I'll see you around. You need to go get your shit together, man. No fucking sense. What the hell is that? You gotta watch out, fool.
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man! You were something! But now, man, you know, you're like this place, you're a shell! Go fuck yourself! Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero! So far above it all! Oh yeah, well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart! Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready! Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bank. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. 
They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Uh, in some ways you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> the bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm -hmm. oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Drive over to the empty lot with the open top dumpster in it. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? 
It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. in 60 seconds and more on standby and it isn't even 30 you victor or shots fired back, guys, oh, this yeah? is a real headache what do you got on the clock 40 seconds this is Toledo security any updates on the code 30 Adam backup ready to mobilize this is not normal the response is out of proportion cops in this county are dirty and the alarm just went off on their piggy bank This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. Yes. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running.
Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Here you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway... Fine. We need personnel? Just a... Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, that's yourself. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm?